Hey, sneaky Alex, back today. Today we've got the latest Salix XFC version. I think it's 1337. And very nice it looks too, as you can see from the screen. So you get the usual home, file system, wasty basket, and Salix Online. We're going to click on there, I think, and we'll go and see what Salix Online's got to offer. Basically, it takes you straight to their page and tells you all about it. There you go, Salix OS. Nice. Now, I've been using Salix on and off for a while, but I can't use it full-time for certain reasons, which I'll tell you a bit later. Now, you get two different discs. You get the installation disc or the live CD. Now, if you go for the live CD, you're only going to get a 32-bit, whereas if you go for the installation disc, you will get the 64 and 32. Now, Salix goes down the way of one app per job, which I like, and is fully compatibly backware compatible with Slackyware. So you get full, basic, and core. Now, I've installed full here because it does everything for you, but if you want to customise it more for yourself, go, go with either basic or core. Bear in mind that core is command line -y. You know what I'm saying? Yes, you do. So we'll go to the menu, which is XFC, of course, but it's not 4.8, by the way. You get your web browser, settings, manager, or under settings, quite a bit here, as you can see. All there for you to play with, if you really want to. It's just a pity it's not 4.8, because I really like 4.8 now. It's really nice, yeah. Under accessories, you get the usual archive manager, catfishes there, privacy assistant, screenshots. Develop your genie there as well. Gimpy is standard and simple scan, so that should get you done okay there. Asunder, Brasero, X, how is your player here? Right, it doesn't install the codex for you to start with, so what you basically have to do, you put in your password because I've installed it. Some countries you're not allowed to do this, apparently, okay? Apparently. So they give you the option here to do it now. So what we're going to do. After we've read all the little bits and bobs, we're going to click yes and install all our multimedia codecs for us. It actually doesn't take too long. Now, the reason I don't use Salix on a, on a full-time basis or a lot of the time is for screencasting and recording your screen. It's just not very good. It just doesn't work good for me. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe not. But it's the same as Slackware. I've never had much Slackware either doing screencasting. It just didn't work for me and it's always jittery or it wouldn't record at all. So, yeah, that's the main reason. Anyway, we are downloading and installing our packages. Now, I could go have a bag of crisps now, couldn't I? But I'm not going to. We're just going to wait for this to install. It won't take too long to... Well, do I, so we'll go to another window first and do something else while it's doing what it's going to do. So, back to our menu. Where was we? Oh, yes. Multimedia, yeah, it's doing it now. now under, net, me, no, under network, Claws Mail is your main mail client here. Unusually, Firefox is your browser, Pigeon's there, Transmission's there, Wicked is there, and GFTP's there. LibreOffice comes with it as standard, right? As standard, the Libra of the Office. So, we'll open one up and see what happens. Reasonably fast. Remember, I'm recording at the same time, so that ain't too bad. That is what it says on the tin, doesn't it, really? What more can I say about it? But yeah, if you like Slack, or have never used Slackware before, why not give Salix a go? Because there's an easier way into it. Hello, oh, blind me up. My codecs are there. Hey, let's get rid of that. Now, would I like to remove the icon from the system? Yes, I would. I don't want it in the menu no more, do I? So I'll click yes, and in the menu there would not be that option anymore, okay? Right, where was I? Oh yeah, I was in the office, wasn't I? Was I in the office? I think I was in the office. Yes, I was. So it comes here, Calc, I'll open up Calc, or it will, the equivalent would be GNumeric if you're using a smaller distribution. I used to use GNumeric, I think, actually. And I think it does on the LXDE version. But as you can see, LibreOffice, do your spreadsheets, no problem. Okay. Next, under system. There's plenty here. Okay, you get more options here than you do in some other stuff that uses XFCE. So, you know, what I would say to you if to have a go at is go and get a live CD and play with it first before you decide whether you want to install it on a partition. Now, hey, top here, look, it's doing all rather nice. It's not hard using any of my CPU or my memory. It's under 100 meg here. So that's pretty cool, I thought. Not too bad at all. Goodbye. Okay, next we're going to do, back to system. What else got here? The G Slap Package Manager. Now, this is their, their package manager for installing software. So, I'll open it up and we'll have a look at the package manager. There you go. Now, there's not as much in here as I would like, <clears throat> but most of it is in here. So here we've got Handbrake for doing your DVDs, okay? So here's a comment. It gives you a description of what it is. So yeah, that looks good for me. On blah, 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 blah. GTK2+. Plus. Yeah, dependencies. Oh, loads of dependencies. But thankfully, it will install all dependencies for you if they are missing, okay? So all you do is to install it, is click there, so it ticks the box, and 
execute. So it's going to tell you it needs to download 17 megs of stuff, but afterwards it'll be 69 megs of space it's going to use. So thankfully, look, my internet speed is reasonable today for a bleeding change, okay? So we'll just wait for it all to download, won't take too long. I'm not going to cut the video at all this time, I'm just going to let it go through. Oh, blind me, I've got a bit of stutter there. No, it's going back. Just wait for it to download, <clears throat> you know, watching paint dry and stuff like that. We'll make sure it installs, we'll open the program, make sure it's all hunky-dory, okay? Nearly all done. But for standard day-to-day -day use, Slackware is really nice and fast. Because, you know, it's Slackware. And so Salix is even better, because it's all done for you. So, yeah, nice. Okay. Installed? I should think so. Almost. We're almost there. Successfully execute all actions, which means, in English, it's installed. So we'll come out of the package manager, and then we'll go down to the menu, down the bottom, remember, down the bottom, and we'll go to multimedia, and there's handbrake in our menu. So we'll click on handbrake, look at that, lovely, all there. So basically you put your files in, put your disk in, and do stuff that's legal, of course, you wouldn't want to do it illegally now, would you? Oh, no, indeed, no, 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 no. Right, we're going to open the web browser up again. Now, you have to install Flash from the package manager, which I've already done. Now, apparently it's the latest version. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go over to the tube, go to my channel as I normally do, and we'll see if a video plays, OK? By the way, if anybody's asking, I'm using XVID Cap to record this one for a change. A bit of a change from the other one. So I'll put my name in, Sneaky of the Linux. And we'll click on the old Enter. We're going to scroll down. I'll tell you what, we're going to find one from MacPup. Because I'll be doing some more MacPup stuff later this week or early next week. I've done a couple already. I've just not got around to doing it. All the bits and bobs to it yet. So there's MacPup 520. We'll make sure that it all works. It should do. You know, normally pretty good. Oh yeah, looking good for me. Oh yes, indeed. Oh yeah. And obviously, you can't hear audio because I'm not allowed to. I'm not. Well, I suppose I could do my own ones, wouldn't I? I'll give you audio. Never thought of that really. So yeah, Flash works out of the box, which is really good. Back down to the menu, <clears throat> I'll go to about XFC, and as you can see from here, it's only at 4.6.2, which is a real big pity. I wish they could have put 4.8 in, but apparently they said it's not stable enough for them, as what I read somewhere. So on the whole, if you want to try Salix and a bit of Slackware, all you have to do, go to the Salix OS site and download the live CD. It'll all work nice for you. Sneaky Linux, going out. i see you later.